Thanks for joining me on this Google group series. We're going to be talking in this video about posting and responding to topics within Google groups. If you haven't checked out my last video on finding and joining Google groups, I'll leave the link in the description of the video as well as the info links within the video. This video section, we're going to be talking about finding topics, starring them, responding to them, starting new topics, resolving a topic, and then finally we'll go over deleting topics. So let's get started. To search for a specific topic, at the top of Groups window, type the topic in the search box. To help you search faster, Group suggests search terms as you type. Click one of the suggestions to open it, or click the search magnifying glass to see a list of results. On the topics page, click filters to see your options. If you don't see filters, it means you don't have the filter permissions for that particular group. Check any of the filters you want to apply to the topics list. Then click apply selected filters to display the list of topics that match your filters. To return to the complete list of topics again, click filters and then choose clear all filters display all topics. You can star topics that are important to you, so you can quickly find them again. Just click the star next to the topic on the topics page. In the sidebar, click starred to list all the starred topics between all the groups. Now let's go over responding to topics within the groups that you're a part of. This will depend on the group settings and your personal settings and permissions. Click the topic that you want to read. The first post in a topic appears at the top, followed by any responses. Click the post reply below any post in the topic or click the reply field of the original post. Type your reply in the space that appears below. Then click post to send your message to the group. You can start your own topics in email or from a form for people to respond to. Start a new topic from email just email the group. The subject of your email will become the topic subject. Now let's send this to the group and see how it looks. We'll just refresh here. Notice the subject line is now the topic of the conversation. Or you can start a new topic right from the forms page. At the top left of the group's topic page, click either new topic or new question, depending on the type of group you're in. Type your subject or question title, depending on what you're asked for. Based on the type of group, and your group permissions, you might see an option to select a type of post, including discussions, questions, or announcements. Discussions will create general discussion topics. If you click new topic and don't see any other options, you're starting a discussion. Questions create a new question in a Q&A form. And announcements create topics containing important information. All members of the group can read the announcements, but typically only group owners and managers can create them. Type the first post for the topic 
and then click Post. The topic appears in the group's topics list. Depending on how the group is set up and your permissions, you can resolve a topic by selecting Best Answer or Voting Forum in Q&A forms. To delete a post in the topic, expand the post. Click the down arrow and select Delete Post. People viewing the topic will see a message that the post was deleted, but they won't see who the post was from. If you found this video helpful or you got questions, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for updates. Our next video, we're going to go over creating a Google Group. Thanks for watching.